हेलो माई डियर फैमिली मेम्बर्स थैंक यू ऑल फॉर योर सपोर्ट एंड इंथ्यूजियाजम इन माई कॉन्टेंट एज मेनी ऑफ यू हैव रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू अपलोड वीडियो ऑन एडवांस सेक्शन ऑफ टी सी एस एंड क्यू टी सो टू डे विल डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन क्वेश्चन यू मस्ट नो दैट फ्रॉम डी आई यू विल हैव फोर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन टेबुलर डी आई पाई चार्ट डी आई बारग्राफ डी आई एंड एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा बट मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट आर टेबुलर डी आई एंड पाई चार्ट डी आई from which you will have total 4 to 5 questions right so you must give importance i have already discussed some previous year questions of tabular di if you have not watched that then please watch it link is given in the description box okay so today we'll discuss some important pie chart di questions so let's see but before you proceed i would recommend you to have the tcs nqt prime materials in which you will have all the recent coding questions as well as the previous year questions and the mock test as well so to get that knock me at pensta id instagram.com/techno.uf you will get it okay so let's start with the first questions that is so the question is the chart given below shows are shows the breakup of mobile phones sold by five stores a b c d and e in may the values given are in degrees okay so here is the pie chart given like uh, 64.8 degree for e 108 degree for a and 90 degree for b 54 degree for c 43.2 degree for d they are uh, they, they are possessing this much of degrees right and the total number of phones sold by e in may is 4500 and a sold 25% more phones in june as compared to may so what is the number of phones sold by a in june so if you have a uh, prior knowledge about di then please start solving pause the video and give the answer in the comment section so that i can see how many of you are attentively watching right okay so let me show you the solution so i hope it will be helpful for you so so the total number of phones sold by e in may is uh, 4500 which is equals to this 64.8 degree right so 64.8 degree means this 4000 500 and that this is a circle right so the total is 360 degree right so 360 degree means total so total number of mobile sold is 64 sorry 64.8 multiply 360 okay so if you just calculate this this will become 25000 right so sorry 25000 so total number of mobiles sold is 25000 right and a sold 25% more phones in june as compared to may right so in may how many mobiles are sold by a we have to calculate that at first we know that total mobile sold is 25k right so out of that how many mobiles are sold by a in may we have to calculate that so this is total in may right okay let me calculate the total sold by a that is 108 degree right so 108 degree out of 360 108 degree out of 360 of 25k right so this is uh, total mobile sold by a in may right so 00 cut out and 36 multiplied by 3 that is 108 and for 25 multiplied 3 that is 75 So seven thousand five hundred total number of mobiles are sold by A in May, right? So now our task is we have to find that in June how many mobiles are sold by A. That is twenty five percent more than May, right? So twenty five percent more than this value is the total mobiles sold by A in June, right? So we have to find that value only. That is in June how many mobiles are sold, right? so let's calculate that final thing so 25% more that means if you just uh, multiply by 125% of this 7500 then you will get that right so if you multiply that this becomes 9375 right so i hope you will calculate that first okay so for time uh, time reducing i didn't calculate it okay. so i hope you understood it okay so if you didn't understand then let me know in the comment section i will again make you understood okay so let me go to the next question so the question is this the average number of mobile phones sold in may by c d and e is 
what is the difference between the phones sold by a and b so we have to calculate that right so average between c d and e what's that that is c is 54 d is possessing 43.2 and e is possessing 64.8 so if we add them this becomes 162 and if we just get the average value that is uh, 162 by 3 that is 3 and 54 right and this 54 degree is the average number of mobiles sold by each one c d and e right so this 54 degree is equal to this 12600 right so this 54 degree if this equals to 12600 sorry 12600 then what's the difference between the phones sold by a and b so difference between them a and b is only 18 degree right so 108 minus 90 that is 18 degree right so what is the value of 18 degree that is if 54 degree becomes 12600 then 10 degree becomes 12600 by 54 multiply 18 right so 18 multiply 3 and 3 and you just crosses 3 4 are uh, 12 and 3 2 are 6 so this way 4200 this becomes the answer so this is so easy right so if you just have uh, just focused observe the question this will become very much easier right so let me go to the next question and the question is b sells 20 percent more phones in june than in may and the phones sold by b in june is 20 25 percent of the total phones sold in that month the phones sold in june are how much percent more than the phones sold in may so you have to calculate total number of phones sold in june and total number of phones sold by b in june and then you have to calculate the total uh, i mean that uh, you have to calculate the how much percent more than the phone sold in may right so let me calculate that so at first let us think that total number of mobiles sold in may that is 100k right so this is 100k so the phone sold by b what's that that is total phone sold by b is 90 right 90 degree so out of 360 out of 360 he sold 90 degree of 100k right so of 100k so this becomes 90 and 4 right so this becomes 25k right so this is the total number of mobiles sold by b in may right in may so you have to now find total number of mobiles sold in june that is in june he sold 20 percent more than may right so in june he sold 20 percent more that is if you just multiply 25 by 1.2 you will get the total mobile sold in june right that is 25 uh, 01 that is 25 and 25 uh, 02 that is 50 right so 50 that is 5.0 okay so 25 plus 5 that is 30 so 30k mobile sold in june right so in june 30k mobile sold by so now we have to calculate the total number of phones or mobile sold in june right by b so how would we calculate that that is the total number of mobile sold in june by b is 25 percent of the total phones sold in that month right so that means this is equal to 25 percent of the total 25 percent of the total right so the total will become so the total will become 30 by 25 percent right so 25 multiply 4 and 30 multiply 4 that is 120 k right so total number of mobiles sold is 120k in june this is total 
so what's the difference and how much percent more than may that is 120k minus 100k right so this is the total sorry this is actually not writing so total 20 percent more than may right so i hope you got it right so if you didn't understand still then please let me know in the comment section i love to answer your question right so let me show you some quiz question which will be very much helpful to you if you are attentively watching so if you are willing to crack tcs and qt then please give the answer of these questions right so this is the first question study the chart and answer the questions the pie chart given here represents the domestic expenditure of family in in percent study the chart and answer the following questions if the total monthly income of the family is raised 33,600,550 then the house rent per month is what the annual savings in form of provident fund would be what and this is also the third question so i hope you will give all the three questions answer in the comment section and all together right so if you love this session please subscribe this channel and don't forget to watch the previous video of data interpretation and please recommend your friend if you have already purchased the teachers and prime materials and if you have not purchased then please purchase it it will be very much helpful to you okay so thank you for today's session